Howdy, John. This is what we got going on today so far. Transplanting tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. Got done with all my tomatoes here. Um, this is the row for my peppers. I'm gonna need another row for peppers. Doing a, an assortment. We got sweet potatoes and zucchini there that need to go in as well. We got some, more, what are those? Those squash? Yeah, that's spaghetti squash. That's got to go in today yet. So, we've already got our cucumbers transplanted. These are the cucumbers that go directly to seed. They're coming up nicely. Some more down here. Coming up. right there um, let's see what else we got that stuff in that row is not coming up yet except for the peas the peas up here are coming up good those just happened yesterday I think two days ago those are our peas and over yonder on that end over there These two mounds right here are three mounds. There's another one down there. I think that's honeydew. This is corn. You can see we've got some corn coming up too. Corn. These are all corns. Corn's looking good. Um, let's see, where is... These three mounds are musk mounds. I'm not sure if that's one right there or not. It could be. These are all musk melon. And we got our watermelon over here. We got major thistles going on here. Ooh, there's a watermelon. That is definitely a watermelon. I'm gonna pull this little bugger out. Oh. Sacre bleu! It was shading my watermelon plant. Ooh, there's another one. So I do have watermelon coming up. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, there's two more. My watermelons are coming up. Or no, yeah. Yeah, that's muskmelon. This is watermelon. Got more watermelon here. Uh, I don't see anything coming up this way. Ooh, this one's got some coming up. Don't see anything here yet. More watermelon, and these are. This row, I forget what it is. Autumn egg squash. So this is all squash. Looks like that might be one right there. Maybe a squash plant. Maybe. Can't see nothing else. So, anyways, that's. That's our garden. We've got some we got some raised beds on the other side of our property. Oof, man, this lighting is horrible. It's pretty overcast today. 
I hope the sun comes out sometime. That'd be awesome. So, not sure what we're doing after we're done with the plant in the garden here, but there's something to do. That's for dang sure. So, that's my garden. Um, sometime I can maybe show you the raised garden. Maybe after I'm done planting, I'll take a video of that and tag it onto this one. You can see the raised beds too. So, um, hope your Memorial Day is awesome. Uh, what else? Let's see. Like, subscribe, share. Um, appreciate all my subscribers that I have. And have a good one. See you next video. Thanks for watching. So I'd include this in there, so I'm planting peppers now. And uh, what I like to do is I got some fertilizer mixed here in the water. Where's the hole? I like to put some fertilizer in the hole. And then with peppers, got a little trick here I learned from my motor. Let's see. Take a book of matches. About half a book per plant. And then what you want to do take a half a book. I'm trying to do this while holding my phone. This is ridiculous. So what you want to do is take a half a book of matches, rip it out, and then grab them by the end, stick them in the bottom of the hole, all the way in, do the match head first, put a little dirt on there, and then grab your plant here. Stick her in the hole. So, a little tip for you. Half a book of matches per pepper plant. Um, it's like a uh, slow release fertilizer when the roots get down to them. So, gives pepper plants a nice boost. Uh, I believe it's the phosphorus and the match heads. So, a little tip for you. Hope that uh, comes in handy for you if you're planting peppers. This is our asparagus. We got our raised beds over here. Raspberries. Are these red raspberries? And then this is our... Um, What's this called again? Rhubarb. We had a couple of them go to seed, so we cut them stalks off. What do we got in this one? Spinach. Spinach and... Red lettuce, green lettuce. Green, red lettuce, and spinach. Um, what's in this one here? Yellow and green beans. Yellow and green beans. Are these... What are these? Over? Red raspberries over here, too. And they got a couple apple trees there. And then over here we got two kinds of carrots on the end here. We had to put a fence around it because the rabbits were jumping up in there. So we got two kinds of carrots down to the end. Then we got two kinds of beets in here. Um, there's nothing up till the radishes, right? right? So this is all empty. These are our radishes. Those are coming up nicely, most of them. Got a couple bare spots in the row. And then squash is going in up here. We got these transplanted today for easy picks. Oh, we did plant some here too? Yeah, there's a couple. Okay, so Only there's one. one growing. Only so far one. The weeds are going good like usual. So. That's the rest of our garden. Yeah, we don't have anything else anywhere else. No. 
And we got okra in the regular garden over there. I don't know if I pointed that out in the rows, but we got okra over there too. So we're gonna finish up these zucchini, these easy pick zucchinis, and then we're gonna go grill some venison wieners. Maybe have a maybe have a couple drinks. And the sun still hasn't really come out. I gotta turn around just to get light on my face. It's ridiculous. So, but at least it's not too hot. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So that's our garden. Yeah.